good evening uh, guys. It's uh, Tuesday the 12th of uh, December 2017 and uh, popped out for an overnighter. Not travelled uh, very far, only um, half an hour up the road, but uh, parked up on the top of uh, a place called uh, Walton Hill. Overlooking uh, Somerset and uh, Glastonbury uh, in behind me. Now, came up to this location last Tuesday and uh, no filming as, uh, as I left the memory card in the laptop uh, back at home. But uh, it's about half past eight, uh, quarter to nine, and uh, not been here uh, too, too long and uh, got some grub on the go. Three sausages, uh, three hash browns, uh, cooking in the frying pan, going to chuck an egg in short, shortly and uh, got some noodles uh, in the saucepan. I've just got to um, soak up a little bit of water and uh, possibly uh, I'll do a tin of baked beans. But i uh, not going to be able to um, show you much of uh, where I am tonight as it's a little bit dark outside but uh, in the morning I'll give you a, give you a little uh, tour and uh, we'll go up to the trick point and uh, We'll, sh we'll show you the location and uh, show you where the van's parked. We're just in a little lay-by, uh, just off of uh, the main road. Morning all. Uh, wasn't cold at all last night. Uh, in fact, it was uh, pretty warm in, in the van. But uh, I had this uh, little uh, dongle that you plug into uh, into the tablet or or a smartphone. This little antenna couldn't pick up a single uh, TV uh, station last night, and uh, the transmitter is uh, not far behind me, over on uh, Penn Hill. But uh, been up for about half an hour now, and uh, we got breakfast uh, on the go. Couple of rashers of bacon and uh, hash brown, and, uh, and a fried egg. Wash that down with a, with a cup of tea, and uh, as it gets uh, gets a little bit light, we'll uh, we'll walk on up to uh, up to the trig point, and uh, we'll show you where uh, where I've parked up for the night.
That's uh, breakfast uh, all done and dusted. Just got to um, clean up the dishes. Uh, last night's uh, dishes. But uh, yesterday I received delivery of uh, two uh, brand new 190 amp hour leisure batteries. I took out the battery that uh, I had originally fitted and installed uh, two new batteries and uh, wired them up in parallel. So that will give me uh, 380 amps and uh, still uh, keeping the voltage the same. As well as uh, last week I fitted uh, a second uh, 100 watt uh, solar panel. So um, all throughout the summer we'll be producing a lot more electric than uh, what we'll be using. So uh, for the electric that is being used through the night uh, should be uh, replaced uh, during the day. And uh, I shouldn't, shouldn't go needing to um, start the engine at all. I bought a second uh, 25 liter water container. So um, instead of uh, filling up the container I have, I can just do a, do a straight swap. And uh, it just makes, uh, makes things uh, a little bit easier. Got snow chains uh, in the back of the van and uh, got uh, these uh, three tier levelers uh, in the back. Could, could have used them last night to because uh, the van is, is parked on a little bit of a slope but it uh, wasn't, wasn't really uh, really much of a problem. But uh, day after Boxing Day traveling up to uh, Scotland and uh, New Year's Eve going to uh, Edinburgh Castle and uh, going to see Rag and Bone Man and uh, Human League. See all the fireworks uh, go off at the castle at uh, at uh, midnight. And uh, going to do a little bit of uh, travelling around uh, Scotland. I've got three weeks off work, so uh, so a week, uh, maybe just over a week in Scotland, if conditions are right. We see the Northern Lights, but uh, even though conditions uh, could be good. It could be cloudy and we won't, uh, won't see anything at all. But uh, it's starting to get light outside now, so um, we'll, go, we'll go for a walk up to, uh, up to the trig point and uh, we'll just, just show you where the van's part. Another job I did do uh, yesterday. Now, uh, with the um, Reflectix I had uh, left over from, uh, from the uh, start of the build, where I was uh, insulating the van, so uh, the foil coated uh, bubble wrap now i cut two pieces one for each uh, sliding door and two pieces uh, one for each um, back door uh, window but what all i've done is uh, i've got some uh, 20 mil um, suckers and uh, i've made a hole with a screwdriver through um, through the bubble wrap pushed uh, the sucker through and uh, put a little uh, washer over uh, over the sucker just to um, try and hold it in place. But uh, it's a near side uh, sliding door. I'll just show you um, the other side. It's a driver's side. We just go round to uh, the back doors. It's just a little bit of uh, leftover, so if it does tear at all, uh, get damaged, it doesn't really matter. Um, I, I already had the material, and uh, the suckers uh, cost me about uh, about one uh, one ninety nine, and uh, free postage. So uh, so it's no big loss if if it, if they're no if they're no good. But uh, they certainly um, held the heat in much better last night as opposed to the heat. Uh, Going, uh, going straight through the glass.
to about uh, half past eight and uh, back at the van now. Been up for uh, for a short walk to uh, to the trig point and back, and uh, been across to the other side of the road, taking a few uh, few photos. But uh, it's not been uh, too bad a night. It's not been uh, cold at all. And uh, gonna head back home now, uh, have a shower, and uh, got a few things to do today. But uh, tonight I'll be out at a different location and uh, doing a, doing another overnighter. Wednesday nights I. Uh, I go up on the on the hills and uh, join in the, the local uh, radio networks. So uh, probably going to be up in the Quantox or possibly the Mendips or even um, back uh, back here at uh, Walton Hill, as uh, as it's reasonably um, high high location. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll uh, we'll catch you on the next one. But uh, don't forget to um, like the video, subscribe, and uh, share. Bye for now.